The problem with ChatGPT or any other AI chat system is you are stuck in an endless system of copying and pasting and every time you paste it, it will start from fresh. It doesn't know the context and it cannot just process the previous data properly. And with this, you are not at all getting the proper response. And for that, what you can do, you can delegate the task to different different chats and what if all that chat can communicate between each other. Here comes the AI agents. Think about AI agents as the employee of your company. So you are the boss and you have two, three, four employees. For every employee you are giving the task they are proficient in. Some are proficient in backend, some are proficient in front end, some are in marketing. So give them a specific task and when they complete the task, they will communicate with each other to finalize the product for you. And here comes the AI agent creating thing, which is called Crew AI. So we are going to use the Crew AI to create the AI agent that has the task to analyze a stock market and come up with the result that if I really want to buy a company stock for the long term investment or not. Here is what we are going to build. So in this video, we are going to use the Crew AI to create a system where there are two agents. One is going to research about a company. For this, we have used the Nika company. And then second agent will going to use the research done by the first agent and then going to analyze and create a proper report over the company for the investment purpose. You can take this project to the next level, which can really recommend you whether you want to buy or not. But here we have used two agent, which is, as I said, like researcher and reporting analyst. And second, we are going to create the task, which is actually going to search for the company and then going to use that search result with the crew AI. And we are going to stitch everything together with the crew AI and creating this amazing project. So stick with me till the end so that you will going to learn how you can create it. This crew AI is really, really simple. You don't have to worry about it. Just take a look and understand each and every section, how things are coming together and you will going to create your own amazing crew. So let me know in the comment section what you think about the crew AI and this video. And if these kind of videos are helpful to you, hit subscribe button so that I'll get the motivation to create more videos just like this. So without wasting time, let's get started. Okay, to get started with crew AI, first visit crewai.com and then click on this open source. And here we have the open source version of this crew AI. Now we can simply get it started with pip install crew AI. If you go and click on that, you will land on this documentation section of this Crew AI, which is basically telling you what Crew AI is. So let's just have a look here. And Crew AI is a collection of AI agent that can have different different tasks and every task can have different different tools. And finally, if everything is combined, they call it Crew of the AI agents. And that's why it is Crew AI. So how to get it started? First, we need to visit the quick start and here we can see we need the crew AI create command. But before that, we need the crew AI on our Python environment. So here I have opened a directory called crew AI in my cursor and here I'm going to create the new Python environment. But make sure the Python environment you create must be less than Python 3.13 and greater than Python 3.10. So you can check out here on the installation section of this crew AI and for this, I'm going to create the Python environment like this using the VENV and I'm going to choose 3.12 for better uh, compatibility of every package. Now, this is done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply say, simply I go to check for Python version and yes, 3.12 is there. So now I use the pip install crew AI. Now, I'm going to install the crew AI on this and once this is complete, then we will move forward by using this command to create new crew AI project. So crew AI create and then we will give the name of our project. Okay. After installing the crew AI, we are here to create a new crew AI project. So crew AI create crew and then give the project name. I'm going to give my project. So this is going to create various files for me so that I can now get started with really having everything in my hand. So first of all, it's asking which provider you want to use with this crew AI. Obviously, I'm going to start with the open AI, which is very simple. So I just hit one and enter. Then it's a open AI, which model you want to use. I'm going to use 4.0 mini just for testing purpose because this is very, very light and very cheap. So I don't have to pay much to open AI. So once it is done, then we need to provide the open AI API key. And 
how we can get that? So for that, you need to go to the OpenAI uh, platform.openai.com slash API hyphen keys. Here, you can click on the create new secret key, provide the name. So I will provide crew AI tutorial and then click on create the secret key. Once you get that, copy it and paste on your installation process. Once done, you can see now we have a new project which is called my project. Now, this project include various things, but the real important thing you need to notice here is the source directory. Inside the source directory, we have the my project again. And inside that we have config where we have agents and the task. And then in the tool, we can provide the tool. We can create our custom tool or we can use the crew AI tools also. And then we have a crew dot py file here we are stitching all the agent task and the tools together to create the new crew we will see very soon and finally we have the main dot py where we are actually getting started with the crew ai cool so the first thing we are going to do is creating the agents and how we can create the agent but basically before that what is an agent from the crew ai pro point of view so here if you go on the documentation of crew ai they have given the agent is an autonomous unit which is programmed to perform tasks, making decisions and communicating with other agents. That's a really cool thing. And here in our project, if you go on this config, we have agents.yaml where we are going to define all the agents we want. Agent should have the name like a researcher, then the role, what its role is, the goal, what it's going to do and the backstory, what is it, it is known for. Okay, these things are all given in the documentation. So you can take a look, read it and understand more. This is highly recommended. Okay, so we want to create a stock price system where a researcher going to research for a company and then an analyzer will going to analyze and finally a advisor will going to advise us whether we really want to buy the stock or not. Okay, let's edit these agent. So first agent they have given is researcher, which in my opinion is okay. Then it has given a topic, but this topic is in curly braces, which means the topic will be dynamic and can be injected when we run our crew. So for this, instead of saying senior data researcher, I will say stock market company researcher for the company I'm going to provide later on. And then it says, uh, instead of this, I will say research about the company, whatever the company I provide for the purpose of making investment decision. And then what is the backstory? What this agent is known for? So simply you are a researcher who is expert in stock market and the company, whatever company I provide. You can uh, find the information about the company present in, in a clear and concise manner. You can create a backstory super strong so that this agent will be having real great knowledge. Okay, once we have the result from the search, then what we are going to do? We are going to analyze the result. So it's like stock market company reporting analyst for the company I provide. And what is the goal for this? The goal is very simple. It's to create a detailed report based on the research finding for the company I provide. And finally, we can change the backstory here. And I'm going to write this backstory, which is basically a you are award, you are an ad you are award-winning analyst who can create detailed report on any company. You are helpful and you have analyzed a thousand plus companies and provided investment advice for the client for maximum returns. Okay, so we have created just two agent. You can create as many agent as you want for very small uh, tasks. But once you are done with the agent, what next? You need to now create the task. So every agent can assign a task. So here the research task is given to the research agent. The analyst task can be given to the report analyst. So reporting task, researching task. Now the description we can simply change and we can say that, hey, conduct a thorough research on, on the company this for the purpose of making decision. And we can say, come up with uh, 10 bullet point like that. And for this reporting one, which is review the content you got and expand each topic into full section for the report. Make sure the report is detailed and contain any and all the relevant information, which is absolutely right. Now, a fully fledged report with the main topic with each section information formatted for the markdown. So I believe these tasks are really, really nice. Once we have the agent, when, once we have the task, then we are good to go. 
what we need to do we need to stitch these two together how we can go to the crew ai and you can see here on this crew ai we are importing various things like this and here we create a class which is the name of our project we decorate it with this crew base decorator and then we get the agent configurations one is from agent and task configuration from this config task yaml file which we just have updated and then you can do all these kickoff things but for now we don't want that we just need to define the agent yes we have written the in information of the agent but now all these written information in the yaml file we need to provide to the crew and how we do that just create a normal python function but decorate it with at agent decorator and then you just define self agent configuration and then we have the researcher remember we have the agent and we have researcher the name of the agent okay if we want we can provide the tool but not for this basic tutorial and we can provide the verbose true to get the things happening in the crew ai similar to that we can also provide the reporting analyst crew similar to that we are also defining the reporting analyst agent and then once we have defined all the agent it's time to define the task for each agent then we define the research task and providing the information there reporting task providing the information but reporting task will output a report.md file for us that's really important and finally once we have defined the agent once we once we have defined the tasks then we are going to create a new function called crew decorate it with crew and then we provide all the agent and the task and the process is going to be sequential means one by one and verbose is obviously once again true okay so this is very very simple creating a crew.py file but finally where we are going to use this file in the main.py in this main.py we are going to define the input here topic is not the thing now we are going to use the company name remember we have used the company name as this dynamic variable kind of thing which we are going to inject every time we want to research for a different company once we are done with that we are researching for apple no uh, i'm from india i'm going to research for let's say uh, zomato and then we say my project which is the main crew class which is the my project class and then we say crew and kick off kick off with the input we have just created for the company name then once you are creating this run function then you can go into the terminal cd into the my project because there we have our project and finally run the crew ai run command once you run this command then it's going to start the magic very soon you can see the agent first is started the researching about the zomato company because we have provided zomato and the task it is given and then it is coming up with the final answer we have the final answer of this zomato company and then we have the analyzing for the report we just got so once we have the analyst we are having the answer from the analyst which says zomato company report now company report is really really thorough and it include various information needed to make a decision whether i should invest in zomato company or not in the summary it has given while zomato holds robust position within the food online food delivery market it faces formidable challenges regarding profitability competition regulation compliances these factors are crucial for investment and zomato stock overall market performance now with this we can provide we can decide whether we should invest or not but if you want to go ahead one step more you can add another uh, agent so i can go here you can simply go on the agents and add another agent which is like advisor this is going to be the advisor which will analyze the report from the analyst and give you the information or the recommendation whether you should really invest or not so with this we have created the crew ai agents and the task and stitching everything together and coming up with a very nice project of getting the stock price analysis now with this you can also create various different things and let me know in the comment section what exactly you want to create and why you are using the crew ai and not others if you have any question regarding the agents the ai things the development in ai and whatever related to the ai just let me know in the comment section and i will surely going to respond on that comment we will meet in the next video till then goodbye